intensity of this matchup between these two. Skates approaches the ball, hits it high and pretty deep. And it is Thomas about at the one. Looks for the wedge at the 5-10, gets loose. Out to the 25-30 and wrestled down by Skates, who's a linebacker, a pretty good guy to have as your deep man. Micah Johnson also around the tackle. Here is Lufkin, William Cole, Brian Brown, Charles Proctor, DeAndre Redmond, and Octavius Dodd up front. The tight ends, they don't have any. They go wide receivers. Roy Gardner, who had a big game against Lee last year at Rose Stadium. E.J. Schenkel, who's kind of a running back wingback. Raphael Thomas and Roderick Foreman, and Javorski Lane, the tailback, and Jacoby Smallwood is the quarterback, the senior, who split time a year ago with Ashford Ayers. Lee in a four-man front. They run Smallwood on the option. They try to pitch it to Schenkel. He doesn't need to. He's into the secondary. First down. Midfield is a flag down at the 40. Cole Skates makes the stop, and Lufkin, this one might be coming back at their 39-yard line. A holding call, it appears, against the Panthers in the first two plays. Lee, not all that focused because they've given up a big kickoff return, and a holding call will cost this thing back. Jason Stripling, by the way, is starting. For Robert E. Lee, they were thinking about holding him out for another week. He missed the Waco High game, and they will need him tonight, Randy. Well, that's Raphael Thomas on the hold on the outside, pulling outside on uh, Micah Johnson on the play for Lufkin, and it's going to come back, and their big first down yardage gain of 18 uh, goes for naught. So they lose all of it because the, the holding call came about midway through. Saron Black and Sam Banks up front for Lee at the tackle position. They start with a four-man front. Ricky Sherfield and Cordero Mumphrey, the ends. Linebackers are Skates, DeHaven, and Van Sant. Stripling is again the bandit. Ejiki and Mitchell, the safeties, and Nicholson and Johnson are the corners. Smallwood has pressure, rolls from behind, breaks the first tackle, then hit for a loss of about five. Saron Black was there. He ran into the big human island, and he, lay, he loses a couple of yards. Cordero Mumphrey is the one who came from the backside, and Sam Banks was there, and that's a nice confidence sack for the lead front four. It's a great coverage sack, too, David. Give credit to Quet Nicholson, Micah Johnson, and Eric Kajiki, along with Dominique Van Zant in secondary, holding uh, Lufkin at bay. Jacoby McKenzie and Bobby Osborne come in the game now for Lee as they rotate their tackles, but they are in a four-man front. Smallwood to Javorski off right. Tackle loses the ball, and Lee has it at the 38-yard line. Micah Johnson, he was wide open, Randy. He was not touched, and Lee has recovered. And remember, a year ago here, it was the Lee team that had all the turnovers, and the Red Raiders had the ball at the 38-yard line. And Javorski Lane was headed to daylight here on the near side. He scoots by one would-be tackler, and the ball just pops out of his hands, and a couple of white-shirted Red Raiders are there to follow on it, and they gain a big break to start the ball game. We've already given you the Lee offensive line. We'll do it again. Black, Banks, Larman, Culp, and Holland. Giles, the tight end. Simpson and Bush, the receivers. Peyton Price and Tyrone Ross, the running backs, and Josh Hill is the quarterback. We'll get to the Lufkin defense, and they are very active. Jonah Murphy also sets up the tight end on the far side. Here's the snap to Peyton Price. He gets not much at all. There's that little kind of fullback trap. He got a yard. Roger Hurts, by the way, the defensive tackle on the stop, along with Robert Murphy up front. Robert Taylor, Rashad Hunt, Roger Hurts, and the star, McKenna Dixon, number 65, Four linebackers, Eric Taylor and Tony Cole on the outside. Robert Murphy and Mandela Roberts on the inside. The corners are Ashford Ayers and Leonard Hewitt. And Alton Dixon, the blue chipper, at safety. D'Angelo Jones on the near side. T.Y. in motion. They fake it to him and Josh with the bootleg. And he will gain just a couple of yards. That has worked on everybody. But the quickness of Lufkin's Robert Taylor on the stop, and Josh picks up three. Lufkin defensive end that time just stays at home, reads the play, does not follow the uh, wing back in motion being Ross, and he just snuffs out the play uh, for a short game. So now Lee brings in two running backs, Jason Williams and Tyrone, to team with Peyton Price, and they'll go with an H-back, T.Y. to the near side, along with Peyton Price. Jason Williams with his left calf heavily ta taped. Here's the fullback... Counter Peyton Price into the secondary and has a first down at the 25 yard line. They get 10 yards and Alton Dixon saved what would have been a lot bigger gain. And Ashford Ayers was there. Remember, Ashford Ayers was their quarterback a year ago. He's now the cornerback and a first down gain of 10 yards. Fullback butt play, as you call it. Blake Lorman opens a big hole along with Brian Cope opening the door for a nice 11 yard gain. 
just uh, under three minutes into the first quarter. Lufkin had two snaps, a long run that was brought back for a holding call, a sack, and then a fumble when Javorski Lane had nobody around him. Lee at the 24. They run Price again on a little delay inside the 20 for about five, and he keeps fighting that tough fullback that he is. And Peyton Price, a completely new weapon that really Lufkin and nobody else has seen Lee have at fullback. They had Keandre Smith, but Peyton a little bit more explosive, believe it or not. Dixon and Ayers were there in a gain of eight for Peyton. Well, he's put on about 15 pounds in the offseason, too, David, uh, with that weight conditioning program that he's on and uh, just does a great job of plowing his way through. Jonathan Williams will split to the far side. D'Angelo Jones near side. Split backs with Walter Simpson, the H-back, and he goes in motion. On the right hash, Josh, play action pass, rolls to his right, has a man open that Simpson caught it. Did he score? They say he was out of bounds. He came down out of bounds, and Craig Smoke had a very good angle. He was wide open, Craig. Yeah, it looked like his left foot was out of bounds when he was coming down with the ball. His right foot looked to be in, but his left foot was the first one to actually touch down. So his foot came down. He also came down on the pylon. If you dive and you hit the ball in the pylon, it is a touchdown. But as Craig got a good angle, he was just out of bounds. A very nice throw by Josh just over the safety. But it's going to go incomplete. Third down and 12, or third down and two. Check that. Split backs, they give it to Tyrone, he can't get much. This is going to bring up a tough decision, probably not too much of a tough decision. Eric Taylor and Robert Murphy, who's been very active, and they have a fourth down, and this brings up some memories from a year ago. Lee, Randy, twice, two different series, had the ball at the Lufkin doorstep at the one-yard line, and both times did not get anything out of it. And really, you just have to credit the Lufkin defense for making great plays on those stands, David. They, they rose to the occasion. Let's see if Lee can rise to the occasion now. Up front for Lufkin, it's Roger Hertz and Rashad Hunt, and people can feel a big play early. Fourth and a yard for Lee. Do you go behind Banks and Saran? They loaded up on defense there. They run the wing back, reverse T.Y. gets a block from Banks at the 10, 5, near the goal line. Signal, touchdown, Robert E. Lee. They run the misdirection, Randy, on fourth and a yard. Sam Banks with a clear out block. What a great play for Mike Owens and the Red Raiders. And it really is just their bread and butter offense. You're running to the outside, misdirection works perfectly. You get the shift from the Lufkin defense the other way. And with Tyrone Ross's speed, he gets to the corner of the end zone for six. 15 yard on fourth and one. T.Y. goes outside and they fake Peyton Price right behind Saran and company. Very complicated call on fourth and short and it was perfect. Here's the snap from Giles. Peyton or Preston Hill. Here's Cole Skates. Kick is good and Lee. 7.42 to go first quarter. Leading Lufkin 7 up in today. Martin Stadium Skates kicking deep to Thomas and Shankle. And this is the speedster Shankle from the goal line. This guy's a track star at the 5, 10. Watch out, 15, 20. He could be gone. 30, 40. Makes a move on Skates and brought down in the lead, 45. This guy can flat out get it going. And they get a big boost in Mike Owens. Special teams coach Willie Williams have got to be wondering about the kick return coverage, which for Robert E. Lee has been so good. And that, what was a very quiet stadium after the touchdown, that gets the purple people leaders all lit up. Uh, Lee has been so good about busting up that wedge, but they've got some kids who can flat out go. Now at the Lee 41, a 59-yard return. Javorski, right tackle, tries to bounce it outside and will be hit two or three times and gain maybe a yard or two down inside the 40, but you saw the perimeter speed. Nick Mitchell and Warren DeHaven were there, but Lee's speed forces him to go outside. Now the Red Swarm defense does do that. There was four or five white shirts this week there on top of Lane. He is a load to bring down at 6'1", 235, the Lufkin tailback. Gain of actually three. He got a great mark at the 38-yard line. 7.23 to go first quarter, 7-0 Robert E. Lee. Four-man front. Smallwood in the shotgun. Back to throw, pump fake. Wants to go deep over the middle. He's got a man there. Nicholson's there. Pass tipped away by Quet Nicholson. Man to man on 16, Raphael Thomas, a 5'10 sophomore. And Quet Nicholson, who initially looked like he lost the ball, then then came back. Very nice job of finding the ball without panicking. Well, he really never bit on the punt fake. I don't, he wasn't looking back at the quarterback at that point at about the 10-yard line. But he sees the ball in the air, and the pass hung up a little bit from the arm of Jacoby Smallwood for him to get back in and make a nice defensive play. Randy Huffstickler, the secondary's coach, telling me that they thought they would try to pick on Nicholson last week, but they never did, and he played well when they tried. 
third and seven. Smallwood runs the option far side, and he is eaten up. Oh, my goodness. Jason Stripling blows up the big man. Javorski Lane loses seven yards, and Cordero Mumphrey was there. Javorski on a sprint option loses seven. And the lead defense with the speed on the perimeter just beating off the blocks, gets outside. Mumphrey hits him first, and four or five white shirts there to knock down the big tailback lane for a big loss. You might see them run a reverse off of that next time, and guess who's their punter? Lane. Javorski Lane, averaging 38.5 yards per punt. Back deep, Tony Bush at about the lead 10. The lead speed on defense, very obvious there. Here comes the snap. Javorski, two steps, kicks it. End over end, he should get a good bounce at the 10. Tony Bush lets it bounce inside the 10. Oh, my goodness, down to the 2. Well, you got to pick that one up at about the 10, even though there's some purple coming at you. If you pick it up at the 10, you've got some breathing room. 44-yard punt, but Tony also trying to make sure you turn, don't turn it over. Remember, it was a fumbled punt return in the game a year ago that turned this game around. Even though Lee had made some mistakes, their defense had played so well, but it was a fumbled punt deep into Lufkin, or the, in, on the Lufkin side of the field that turned that game around at about the 40-yard line. So now Lee, Randy, at their own two with their backs against the goal line. Javorski Lane with a big end-over-end -end kick. T.Y. the lone setback, double tight set for Lee. Play action, no, it's T.Y. up the middle, nothing there. Well, he will get to Mandela Roberts, the junior linebacker. Tyrone's lower body strength got him a couple of yards, and E.J. Schenkel also. H-backs on the near side. They run T.Y. Option read, it's Jason Williams into the secondary, and Lee has great field position now. The hammer... Jason Williams off left tackle. Jacob Amy, the two young receivers. Amy, a flanker near side. Double tight set. Amy now motion far side. Left hatch and somebody moved. That's Jonah Murphy. Nope, John Giles. And that has been Lee's big bugaboo so far. As almost perfect as they have been on offense. Randy, the pre-snap penalties right after a big play. Lufkin's defense probably has their dobber down and all of a sudden you jump off sides, and that's not the first time for John. Well, Lee's averaged right at 10 penalties in each of the first two contests, and I would say about six to 10 of those, of those 10 have been of this variety, and it's the kind of thing that can kill drives to see if they can respond from this adversity. But they're happy that where they are is at the uh, 18 instead of what was the one or two yard line. Straight eye formation, Williams the deep back, they run T.Y. wide, gets a block, 20, outside, Maybe should have kept that one inside. He gets about four of it back. John Giles downfield with the block. Eric Taylor, the outside linebacker. And again, Ashford Ayers is everywhere. Was there as well. And McKenna Dixon, who is the man. I mean, this guy is six foot three, 250 a senior. And we thought last year, last week, McDonald was a great defensive end. That's a blue chipper right there. Definitely, definitely. And Ashford Ayers. Also, he was at one of the quarterbacks last year for Lufkin in the past couple of years as a wide receiver. As a sophomore, is starting at cornerback, and he's a load as well, right at 200 pounds and 6'3". Four minutes, 30 seconds to go, first quarter. 7-0 Lee, second and 11 at their 22. Josh Hill, play action, back to throw. Has pressure, has a man open. Overshoots his intended receiver, Simpson. And the safety at the last second came over. That was a nice play by Alton Dixon. He was late, but it did get in the way, and that ball just over the heads. Of head of uh, in the hands of Walter Simpson, who's made some highlight reel catches this year. It's third and long. Williams, Amy, and Giles all come in for Lee. Simpson comes out. Offset eye with Peyton Price. Watch for the screen pass. Josh back to throw. Flag down. They didn't have a man on the line of scrimmage on the far side. And Josh will run 20, 25, 30, and knock down at the 28 yard line. Somebody blew him up. Eric Taylor. And McKinner Dixon. And a flag down. I think Lee's going to get a five yard penalty anyway for an illegal formation. They had two receivers who were split as flankers, but nobody covered up the tackle. I take that back. Josh is coming out. We'll try to get a report from Craig Smoke. Preston Hill on third down and four. Actually, third down and six. Peyton Price is out and Tony Bush in the slot. Tight end far side. Simpson split near side. Preston back to throw. Steps up. Sideline pass. Oh, what a throw. What an absolutely marvelous throw. His first pass out of the bat. 
First down at the 48, and that, I'm telling you, I hate to say this, that was NFL-esque right there. It was perfectly timed because Simpson runs his route, does a curl back around, and as soon as he turns, the ball's at his numbers, and no defender is there, and he picks up 20 yards on the play. Nice pass from the junior, <laughs> Preston Hill. Preston Hill loves a Martin Stadium. Oh, he does, doesn't he? D'Angelo Jones in the game for Lee in the slot. Bush will be the split end far side. Jonah Murphy, the tight end near side, back to throw Preston. Air Lee, Bush, first down at about the 43-yard line of Lufkin. Now see, real close. This game, Smoke. So Bush had a big game. Simpson had a big game last week and a nice start here. T.Y. up the middle, gain of about three or four. And McKinner Dixon, oh, he's an animal. Gained about six yards down to the 37-yard line. And T.Y. with an explosive start, Sam Banks, got inside of Rashad Hunt and gave him a chance. And Gary Fleet, the offensive line coach, does such a great job of, of these kids on the front five. And actually this year they have eight on that offensive line that can go. Gain of seven. T.Y. to the 38-yard line. Double tight set. T.Y. makes the first man miss into the secondary. 30 down to the 25, and Lufkin having some sloppy tackling. Alton Dixon makes the stop. First down, Robert Ely. Gain of 12 yards, and he ran over the safety at the end of that play. Boy, his feet look real quick tonight. His best game ever was here as a sophomore. Up the middle, Peyton Price outside, 25, down to the 20, gain of about seven. And right now, Robert E. Lee's offensive line, that was Ryan Davenport with a seal block that time. Dixon and Taylor on the stop, but the offensive line of Lee is pushing the purple back. And they're clicking, David. Everything going right now, right now for Lee, and the Panthers are on their heels, as you mentioned. And just a great bit of running once again from Peyton Price. The hole's not there at the middle, but then he gets a push out wide right, and he picks up seven. Jason Williams now will come in, and T.Y. and Peyton Price will be H-backs together. Jason Williams outside zone at the 20-15, down close to the 10. There's a flag, or a ball comes loose at the end of that play, and Boy, Robert E. Lee does recover. Now we got to check the flag from the side judge. And it's again offsides against the Lufkin wow. Panthers, and that's a first down. To wave that but off. Mike Owens is going to have to talk to Jason again, who's put it on the ground twice. Saran Black just peeled. He didn't just get his man, Robert Taylor. I think he took four or five guys with him, the LSU commit. First and goal, Robert E. Lee at the 10-yard line after a gain of what, Randy? He picks up nine yards on the play, and another first down for Lee. And as you mentioned, Lee is controlling the line of scrimmage at the moment. This drive is embarking on its 11th play, too, Dave. And it started at the two, at the two, and it was a huge throw from Preston Hill, who remained to the game as Josh is getting hand attended to. Here's reverse T.Y. outside. He's got a wall, cuts it up at the 10, down inside the five, close to the three-yard line. Sam Banks again with a turnout block. He's starting to remind me. Remember Philip Walls, who went on to play at Memphis and then came back to Tyler. A tremendous pull block. Blake Larman, the center, also there. It is second and goal Lee at the two. Well, this Lee line brings a little more quickness beyond the large guy on the left side, Sharon Black. They're a little bit quicker than any Lee line in the past, and I think Lufkin's having problems coping with it at the moment. Second down and goal just outside the Lufkin two. 58 seconds to go, first quarter, 7-0 lead, double tight set. Preston, T.Y., nothing there. He got wrapped up very quick. McKinner Dixon, they ran right at him, and he said, no, you're not coming here, and he might have lost a half a yard. And now here comes a big third down. Steven Christian in the game as well for Lee on the offensive line as Bailey Davenport and Christian come in quite a bit. Well, they're reading on that play, a good bit of reading from the linebacker too. Give credit to Mandela Roberts as he stuffed the hole as well, uh, keeping a Tyrone Ross from getting to the end zone. Timeout. Robert E. Lee, I think, should have taken a timeout here with 25 seconds remaining first quarter at the Lufkin two-yard line. 7-0 Lee. We're <laughs> Preston Hill, pitch back to Jason, has a seal block into the end zone on touch. Touchdown, Robert E. Lee and Brad Royal threw a key block on the outside. So did John Giles. Craig Smoke, what'd you see? I saw John Giles, Peyton Price, Brad Royal, you said it, they were all coming around doing a great job blocking for Jason Williams who was able to get into the corner of the end zone untouched. Untouched, Randy, from the Lufkin two, and Robert E. Lee over 100 yards rushing in the first quarter. Yikes. Here and comes Cole moved. Skates with the extra point attempt, and give Preston Hill all sorts of credit for being ready. 
Snap from Giles. He'll hold, skates, kick. It is. No, he missed it right. Boy, he doesn't miss many. And that might be something we think about later on. 21 seconds to go. First half. It's Robert E. Lee, 13. Lufkin, nothing. Now kicking off. Lee at their 40. Josh Hill with a little pooch kick. And that thing's going to hit and bounce around. And Lufkin will pick it up. And I tell you what they did there, they don't want to kick it deep. That's very smart, Randy Johnson. Oh, it definitely is. And with the little, just a little punch up in the air, and the upbacks had to run up, and they just fell on the ball. They didn't know what to do because they don't get that kind of chance to run the ball. And they're David. told to kind of do that most of the you time bet. on the pooch kick. And Lufkin, which starts this drive at the 30. Remember, the last drive started at the Leaf 41 before they were forced to punt. 13-0 Lee with 20 seconds remaining first quarter at Lufkin. Smallwood with his bodyguard, Javorski Lane to his right, shotgun. Runs the option near side, gets a seam at the 30, 35, first down. No, nope, not just shy of the first down. Nick Mitchell with a nice stop, and he almost forced a turnover, and that will be the last play of the first quarter. It has been all lead. They run Javorski up the middle. He's got a first down at the 40, and Warren to Haven with a nice stick, but a gain of five that will extend the sticks for Lufkin. And Craig with an update on quarterback Josh Hill. Yeah, Josh Hill took a ferocious shot on that last drive. He went over. It looked like his hand was bleeding a little bit. The trainer just taped it up, and he should be fine. Thank you, Craig. And, of course, Preston Hill came in with two huge throws, the 20-yarder to Walter Simpson, as good as you'll see at the high school level, on a sideline route, a great throw, tremendous protection, but Walter ran a great route right in front of the Lufkin bench. First and 10, Lufkin, Smallwood back to throw, no pressure. Now wants to run with it, throws, passes, caught and dropped at the 38-yard line, and I thought he was over the line of scrimmage. Eric and Cheeky was there, and he hit Shankle as the ball arrived, and I thought he was at least a yard over the line of scrimmage. Yeah, it appeared that way from here too, David, but give the defensive front credit for putting pressure on him, forcing him out of the pocket. He had to roll right slightly, throw it back slightly across his body, uh, but the receiver probably should have caught the ball. He takes a nice lick at the end. We've now seen Eric and Cheeky on a couple of occasions this year come as the ball was being caught and knocked the ball loose with his strength. Second down and 10, Lufkin at their 43. Three receivers near side. Smallwood runs the other way, trying to bounce outside, and now hemmed in, now comes this way. Stripling gets him, he gets loose and gets five. Boy, Lee had him so many times. That's a great run by Jacoby Smallwood, but also tremendous pursuit by the lead defense that nobody lost their containment. It was simply a busted play on Smallwood's part. He's supposed to come near side on the option because his whole line and everybody comes left to the near side of the field, and he's confused and runs outside, but he does a great job and shows great athleticism to pick up five. Bobby Osborne and Saran Black inside. Now McKenzie, one of the defensive tackles, he got six out of nothing. Lee with a four-man front. And Mumphrey kind of a stand-up defensive end. Now he gets down. Smallwood back to throw. Over the middle man, wide open. And he can't find DeAndre Wallace, who somebody had blown a coverage right there. Mitchell and Ajiki looking at each other. And it might have been maybe even a corner or linebacker that released him. We're not sure about that. But it's now fourth down Lufkin as this drive goes back to the punt situation. And they've had a couple of nice plays, but Randy, the lead defensive line is not putting pressure really on Smallwood, but they're not giving him the opportunity to run around. Well, Smallwood's timing is off with his receivers too. Yep. He had a streaking wide receiver down the middle of the field on a fly pattern, and he just throws it way too hard. Had he lofted it up, they would have had six points. 10.51 to go, second quarter. It's 13 to nothing, Robert E. Lee, and here comes Javorski laying to punt. His first one was 44 yards. This one, he turns over. Bush will field it at the 15, drops it, and it's loose. And Lufkin's got it. Wow. Fumbled punt returns in this game have made some big differences. The officials have not yet singled it. And now, do they signal? Lufkin has recovered. That's a big mistake right there because you have them feeling sorry for themselves, Randy. And Tony drops it at the 15-yard line. The recovery by number 23, Alton Dixon, the safety. And, oh, my goodness, Robert E. Lee makes a big mistake, and now the defense has to come up. They, they had Lufkin feeling sorry. They're yep. dropping their heads. Would have had nice field position. But he did the right thing by coming to field the ball. In past years, at times, with some of the uh, uh, Lee returners, we would not see him trying to field the ball. He just took his eye off of it, and three uh, purple shirts were in his face as well. 
First down, Lufkin. Now the offense gets new life. Smallwood to Javorski up the middle. Breaks a tackle inside the 10. They ran over somebody. Jason Stripling and Warren to Haven eventually. But Warren to Haven got knocked down as he tried to grab Javorski Lane by the legs, and that's not a very good proposition. So Lufkin now inside the lead 10, and their offense was just basically stagnant. And they have second down and a yard as Javorski picks up nine yards, and you start getting that little train, get enough coal going inside of him. Second down and a yard, there's Lane again up the middle, down near the five, it keeps going, the ball, Craig Smoke said may have come loose, but no signal to Haven, Jiki, Van Zant, Mitchell all down there, but Lufkin has recovered the fumble inside the five yard line, and boy, can he make a pile move. See, he's not effective sometimes at the middle when there's a lot of space on the field, but down inside the 10 and 20 and inside the red zone, he is the man that you know is gonna get the football. And then about the time you think he does, they run the option. First and goal, Smallwood, shotgun, Javorski near the goal line, I don't think he got in. Cole Skates was there. And this is when you run that spread offense where sometimes you wonder if they don't just get under center and take a quarterback sneak as that thing is now inside the one. James Wilson, number 82 for Lee on the stop, second and goal. Well, with the freight train running the ball like Lufkin has, they're going to keep going to him until they can cash in. Lee's turnover on the punt return cost him here perhaps. Second down and goal. Javorski, goal line, leaps in, touchdown. They were basically non-existent offensively, and Lee gives them seven here if the extra point is good. Now, they go for two a lot. Jamie Fernandez is their extra point field goal kicker, but they are very interesting, and they go into a, a uh, swinging gate, which they scored on against Eisenhower last week. Javorski Lane will take the snap usually, or they will snap it straight to Smallwood. Watch this, Randy. Now they change, and here comes Fernandez. They wanted, I think, if anything, just to see what Lee would do in that particular formation. Now Lee is off sides if they don't get somebody back on side here pretty soon. Now they've got somebody there. Boy, that turned this game around, at least for now. Snap. Here comes a flag. I think the play clock was down to zero. Are yep. there too many men on the field? That's a delay of game. You're correct, David. Oh, Randy, this, this game, Lee dominates the first yep. quarter. Big plays, turnovers are always costly to Lee, and they are to most teams if they can overcome them. Fortunately, last week, you know, they shared three apiece with Waco. Yeah, but, but they were playing tonight, Waco. Though. They weren't playing Lufkin. <laughs> True. Jamie Fernandez is two for three this year. He has kicked a 42-yarder. This is now kind of like a field goal. Here's the snap. Here's the kick, and he drills it. 13-7. 9.17 to go first half. Lufkin's on the board after a lead turtle. Chris Aputica is back deep along with Jason Williams. Also, Peyton Price is there, and so is Brad Royal. They're the up men. Fernandez has a great leg, and the ball now comes off the tee. And now the Lee stands on the far side, and there's a lot of Lee, folks from Lee here tonight. They have absolutely saturated most of that middle section, but as Lufkin does for whatever reason is allowed to do. They have about 100 or so fans in the middle of the Lee Reserve section, but there's also a, a huge section on the right that is mainly Lufkin. Here's Fernandez with a very nice deep kick, and Williams will catch it a yard deep in the end zone. 5, 10, 15, out to the 17-yard line. A nice return considering he was two yards deep and he avoided the first guy. And that's something Lee would love to get better at is their kick return coverage, but also their kickoff return in yardage, that hidden yardage we talk about. Well, let's see how Robert E. Lee responds offensively. So far, they've been unstoppable pretty much on their first two drives of the night. Let's see if they can keep it going and build some momentum back their way after the costly turnover moments ago. Josh Hill back in the game, the senior who missed the last drive, or most of it, and Preston did the damage. 98 yards worth. John Giles tight end in the H-back position. They fake the reverse, Giles keeps, or Josh keeps it at the 25 outside at the 28 yard line, and he took another shot right there. And D'Angelo Jones, enough in the, in the face of Hewitt, even though Hewitt made a nice tackle, it allowed Josh to get about eight yards. 
Well, he may become a little gun shy. They're laying some uh, licks on top of him. The first one obviously took him out of the last drive that Lee uh, had the ball driving down the field. And this time he is able to pop right back up and come back to the huddle. Yeah, he's uh, again, he's compact and he's quick, but he has taken a couple of shots by McKinner Dixon in that time. Again by Leonard Hewitt, second and two for Lee. Giles comes to the near side. Andrew Bailey is the center. Tight end this way. Josh back to throw. Play action. Has trouble. Throws it. He's got a man open. He undershot John Giles. And there's a flag down as well in the secondary. And Tony Cole may have pushed off on the receiver. And he and, Tony, he and John Giles are talking. But Tony might be the one where the penalty flag is going against. Or was it against John? It is a illegal touch against Lee. No, illegal man downfield and holding against Lee. So two penalties, one on holding call right about the line of scrimmage. And they say illegal man downfield. I don't understand that unless John was covered up on the near side. So Lee with a second and short, they go for a big chunk and they will now lose. Obviously, they're going to lose at least 10 yards. I don't know what the discussion is going to be. Well, they'll probably get their choice of which one they want to take. Like you said, it's going to be a 10-yarder either way uh, against uh, the Red Raiders. Loss of down two, maybe? No. No, no. no. It's okay. a holding call. And now it's instead of second down and a yard, it's now second down and 11. And the thing is, Simpson was open. But we would have come back anyway, and Josh just undershot him right in front of the Lufkin bench. So things getting a little bit... Serious after a 13-0 lead. Now 13-7. Instead of second and a yard, it's now second down and 11. Williams and Simpson split far side. Williams in the slot. Josh straight drop. Sideline. Simpson. Oh, what a great play by linebacker Tony Cole. The 5'11", 175-pound senior got right in the way. And Simpson was open for at least 10, if not more. But it's now third down and 11. 13-7 lead. And they bring in Jacob Amy, who will split far side. Tony Bush in the slot. Giles is the tight end. Offset eye with T.Y., the deep man. Motion Bush to the near side. Third and long. Hill to Tyrone. Nothing there. They tried to fool him, but it's hard to fool the blue chip defensive end, the senior McKenna Dixon. 79 tackles last year. Three sacks and 14 tackles for losses, and the momentum of this game has changed dramatically. Here comes the punt team. Yeah, with one turnover, the pendulum has swung back to the, the men in purple. The Lufkin Panthers now have the uh, the ability, I, I think, of getting the ball and driving back downfield. It's going to be up to the lead defense to make a stand. Leonard Hewitt, the junior, back deep, and he's dangerous. Remember, he was a receiver last year. Now he's a corner for the Panthers. Good snap. Josh, left-handed punt, and he sails it over his head and hits it to Lufkin, 35. Hewitt picks it up at the 30. It is still on the ground, and now he tries to get loose, runs into his own man, and will go down at the 35. But what a great kick by the senior, Josh Hill, uses his left foot, throws right-handed, a 52-yard bomb, four-yard return, but it does put Lufkin back at the 35. That's just what you need to have happen. Players, big players coming up, making big plays. Special teams can be the key in this game, and they have been already with a Lee fumble, but Lee responds that time with a nice punt, and Lufkin takes over. John Outlaw, the Lufkin coach, has to kind of go, whew, man, we dodged something here early. 13-7, to seven, three receivers set near side. First and 10, Lufkin at their 35, down by six. Smallwood takes the snap. Now looks, no pressure. He wants to go deep. Micah Johnson in coverage. Pass is caught. Whoa! Roy Gardner. And what a gun by Jacoby Smallwood. The senior, he throws a beautiful throw. Micah Johnson was in coverage, and he kind of gave up on it. I think he thought there was no way Gardner could get to it, and he made a sprawling catch 53 yards. That was just perfect timing, too. The receiver runs to the ball and just outruns Micah Johnson, who takes his eye off the receiver just for a moment, and he breaks past him and dives and makes a great catch. And Gardner had two touchdown catches last week in the opener for Lufkin against Eisenhower. First and 10, Panthers right back deep in the lead territory. First completion for Smallwood. There's a lot of confusion on the Panthers' sideline. But not after that. Smallwood, a little swing pass to Jacor Javorski at the 10-5 touchdown. Wow, has this game changed dramatically 
on a bobbled punt return, and the Panthers are an extra point away from taking the lead, and it was all Lee in the first quarter. Just the opposite here, and Lufkin responds. Nice pass and catch, just a little dink pass out in the flat to the big freight train lane. He takes it around, two lead defenders there. One just tries an arm tackle, which is not going to stop that guy, and he breaks to the corner for six, and Lufkin ties it up. And about to take the lead if they can get the extra point with 6.54 to go in the first half. Fernandez. Here's the snap. Here's the hold. The kick is up, and it is good. Our score. Lufkin 14, Robert E. Lee 13. Well, this uh, Purple Nation Lufkin Panthers crowd is going nuts now. They were on their hands, but their football team has made some big plays. And now leading Robert E. Lee 14 to 13 with 6.54 to go in the second quarter. Apudica and Williams back deep for Lee. Fernandez with a kick very high, and this is going to go in the end zone. Boy, he's a weapon, and this is a school. You know, Longview has always had great kickers. JT during their runs with Alan Wilson had great kickers. Lee's always had great kickers. And Lufkin has always had great kickers. And this entire district teams have had great kicking game. Marshall used to have Scott Verhalen, who was given a tryout in the NFL like Cody Skates was, who used to be at Lee. And now the Red Raiders take over at their 20. The Panthers score, David, two plays, 65 yards in 35 seconds. They are explosive, and uh, they take the lead with a big pass play and then a swing pass. Josh Hill, Andrew Bailey the center, Tony Bush in motion. Josh, wing back reverse, Bush, 25, 30, secondary, 40. He's a sprinter out to midfield, and Alton Dixon saves a touchdown. And to catch Tony Bush is a big deal. 30 yards for Tony Bush in the wing back reverse after he went in motion to the far side. Just gets a great block on a kick out, pulling from Sam Banks, and also the right side does a nice job. John Giles with a great block up front on Tony Cole, but give credit to Banks once again for pulling, opening the doorway for Bush's 30-yard run. Steven Christian also involved in a nice key block at midfield, a gain of 30. Josh. Up the middle, T.Y. looks for room. McKinner Dixon blows him up. And now they are running right at him, which is not a very smart thing to do because he is a man-child. And he is now getting involved. And you get him involved, and it seems to jack up the rest of the defense. And he lost a yard. Split receivers, Amy and Simpson far side. They don't have anybody on the line of scrimmage. Now they do. Back to throw Josh. Steps up, throws. He's got Simpson, 40, first down, 30. 25, and he Ooh. runs over the safety, and that time, Walter Simpson, he knocked out Leonard Hewitt. Oh, my goodness, what a collision. You could hear it through the glass here, down to the Lufkin 27-yard line. Uh-oh, there's a flag down. There's a flag down on the near side, and this guy has been very, very, very busy. Very busy. Hey, you can't throw a better pass than that, and Walter that time is the one who is the one in charge of the collision. Now we got to see the car. going to wave it off. Well, I started to wonder a little bit out here. Down to the 25, first down, gain of 26. First down at the Lufkin 25 as Lee tries to respond. Up the middle, Peyton Price at the 20, first down, not quite. And he runs over the safety, Alton Dixon, for a gain of about six or seven down to the 17-yard line. Dixon, the safety, has been on a lot of stops, Randy. Well, they give him – They yeah, Dixon comes up and plays great run support, David, but they, they keep Lufkin honest by trying to run up the middle still so they can break out that misdirection going out wide and opening up the passing lanes too. So Lee keeps moving on this drive to see if they can keep it going. Fifth, uh, 5.15 to go. Blake Larman, the, save, or the center here, they rotate between Larman and Bailey. Wing back is Giles. Josh, here's that play outside the T.Y. who should have a first down at the 20 to the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Roger Hurts was there, and Stuart Willis. Price and T.Y. split backs. Giles in motion. T.Y. right tackle, lead block, Banks. 10 inside the 10, inside the 5, and he has a first down, I think, in goal, unless he doesn't get a mark at the 5. Nice block by Sam Banks and Stephen Christian as they peeled out. And that play has been as successful as they have so far tonight. And T.Y. with a gain of 10 has 12 carries for 61 yards. Now second down, Josh Hill, the quarterback. It just started on a 30-yard wingback reverse to Tony Bush. They will set Price and T.Y. on the far side. Josh 
Jason Williams outside breaks a tackle. He will score. Touchdown, Robert E. Lee. And like a big time running back, the stiff arm on the linebacker, Robert Taylor. And guess who made the key block? Tyrone Ross, who usually has others blocking for him, and now Lee might go for two here. Bush near side. Giles is the tight end as Lee will go for two after the miss earlier. Offset eye. T.Y. in motion. Josh back to throw over the middle. Tight end broken up. Boy, that thing was just not even close. That's the play they struggled with last year when they tried to hit Pettigrew against Longview and... They were not going to fool anybody there, and that thing was picked off in the end zone. It was kind of a flutter ball anyway. So here comes Josh Hill. He pooched the last one. Cole Skates not kicking off. Well, he normally does, and he's got a good leg, but kicking deep to these track stars that they have, Thomas and Shankle has not been very good. From his 40, Josh approaches it, little pooch kick, and Lufkin will get it at the 28. 30. Knocked down at the 33-yard line as he's gang tackled by a bunch of white and red. I love the new uniforms, by the way. Justin Williams, Justin Hansen, 22 on the stop for Lee. Also, Justin Simmons was there, the senior number 45, and Panthers will get the ball at the 32-yard line. Hey, JT's trying to win their second straight. They beat Memorial Saturday 21-13. They lead second quarter against Bowie in Arlington. 7-0 in a game you can hear on 1430 ESPN. Now the defense has to step up, Randy. Yeah, they do. This is time to make a statement and get the ball back with uh, hopefully enough time left to keep Lufkin. A three and out would be just what the doctor orders for Lee. Or a turnover would be even better you medicine. Bet. Four-man front for Lee. Snap, draw play, Javorski. First man can't get him. Second one does. Nice stop on the backside by Cordero Mumphrey and Warren DeHaven and De Van Zandt. Dominique, 27. He, he was asked how his brother Martell handled the first game when Oklahoma State played at UCLA in the Rose Bowl, and we know that Martell is hearing impaired. He told his brother Dominique, he said it was loud, <laughs> and they wondered why. He, he could feel the shaking the of the vibration. Right? Wow. Gain of four for Javorski, and he has such quick feet for such a big guy. Second down and about actually five. Smallwood runs the wrong way, now has to run, throws, pass caught. Wallace makes a move, 40. First down, 45, 50. Micah Johnson knocks him down, but a missed tackle at about the line of scrimmage there. And Smallwood, again, may have run the wrong way, but he makes something out of it in a gain of about 18 yards. Smallwood runs the option near side, finds a seam against the grain, breaks loose inside the 45 and just absolutely hogtied by Nick Mitchell, but a gain of five. And I'll tell you what, Lufkin's found the magic. That fumbled punt return has kicked this offense into high gear, and they're starting to pick apart the Lee defense with their passing game. And that time... Smallwood just keeps the ball, doesn't even fake a pitch, and cuts back against the grain, makes a nice move, and he's wrestled down and hogtied, if you will, by Nick Mitchell. Six yards for Smallwood. Lufkin has 45 yards on the ground. It seems like more than that. Bo Bambry is in the game at linebacker, the middle linebacker, the senior. Second down. Here's Javorski up the middle. First down. Jason Stripling was there, and that's just a play where they can run that all they want. Ajiki came up to fill the gap. But a first down and a gain of seven yards. Cordero Mumphrey also comes up, and that all, oh, wear you down a little bit. Sam Banks looks exhausted, who plays both ways. And they know the Haven may not be in the game, so they're going to try to go right at the linebacker position, although Bo Bambry was in on a bunch of tackles, 22 last year. Seven yards, and the offense is in rhythm. At the lead, 32. 219 to go, first half. Snap Smallwood, rolls to his... Near side, now goes across the grain. Man open and tipped away. What a great play by Micah Johnson. And the reason he did not get the flag, Panther Nation is whining, but the reason why is he came across with his left hand, not his right, and that's the one where he did not make contact, and Gardner's not complaining either, incomplete. And he cleanly bats the ball away. That on the play, Smallwood had plenty of time to throw the ball, and his receiver cuts back inside. He lays it on target that time. He's getting his timing down, and that may not bode well for Lee if uh, Smallwood can keep that up. You know, you got to kind of keep people inside for the draw play to Javorski, but Lee is not putting pressure on Smallwood at all. Second down, here's Javorski up the gut. First down, 25-20. And Lee is just not getting in his face early enough. Eric Ajiki makes the stop at a gain of 14 yards, and Javorski's starting to get warmed up. John Outlaw 
told me this week he was not sure if Javorski was quite ready yet as far as taking 20, 25 carries, but he said we're going to need to pound him about 25 or 30 times. And Jay Law told me they were actually hoping they did because they felt like that was the best way to contain him. He's about halfway there now, David. That's, what, the 11th or 12th carry in the first half. For 49 Lane. yards for Javorski and another first down and another double-digit play. Smallwood swing pass to Shankle, 20, 15, 10, missed tackle, 5, Touchdown, no, down at the one. And he's got sprinter speed. And Quet Nicholson saved the touchdown. And here comes hammer time with Javorski Lane. And the lead defense does look inexperienced right here and somewhat confused. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, Lufkin, give credit to the Lufkin offensive coordinator as well and Coach Outlaw. They're just spreading the field around, running inside and throwing outside and doing a good job to confuse. Smallwood, 17 yards to Shankel. Guess who gets this? Touchdown. And he got standing up. He knocked over a lead player in the end zone. Well, Lee's defense is going to have to kind of rise up here because they are, in the last three times Lufkin has had the football, they have scored. We knew that this could be a high-scoring game because both teams have a lot of young players on defense. That's what we're seeing. And that's exactly what we're seeing. They do go into the swinging gate. They throw it out to Smallwood. He throws it in the end zone. Incomplete. They are fearless with that two-point conversion. 20-19, yep. Lufkin now with a minute 31 to go first half. Remember, Cole Skates has a pretty good leg, so if Lee can get any kind of field position, who knows who might lead here at halftime. But the Lee Red Raiders are up 13-0, and they now trail by one. Minute 31 to go first half. It's now 20-19, Lufkin after they score on another Javorski Lane touchdown. Back and forth we go. Eight plays, 68 yards for the Panthers and 350, and the freight train lane takes it over from one yard out for six. He has 45 career touchdowns, three of them tonight. He scored all their points. Yep. Fernandez, very high, not as deep. Jason Williams at the five, sets up the wedge. 10, 15, 20, breaks a tackle, 25-yard line. Nice return. Michael Randall on the stop for the Panthers in purple with the white stripes. Lee with their all-white uniforms, red numbers, the red hats. And now, two things here. You try to get something smart. You try to move the ball if you can. With a minute 20, either one of these teams score so quickly, but you don't want to do something where you give up some points at the end of the first half either. Bush and Simpson far side. So Ron Black, Sam Banks right next to the center, Blake Larman, Culp, and Holland near side. Tight end Giles. Josh. Play action reverse, now steps up. Wants to go, he's got a man deep. Pass is incomplete, he hung that one up. He had him open. He had Tyrone Ross open. That was Tyrone's pass. That was the play he scored his very first varsity touchdown on against Corsicana. 2001. And that time Josh did not see the safety come over. Leonard Hewitt, if he's not there, it's a touchdown, but he was there and you got to drill that a little bit better. That's a great memory. That was the uh, Friday after 9-11 too, as Lee visited uh, Corsicana that night. And you're exactly right. That little pass play was set up strictly for Tyrone Ross. T.Y. now is the H-back, actually in the slot. Second down, it stopped the clock as well. Now he will go in motion. They hand it to him, cuts it against the grain, 25-30, gain of six. Now Lufkin may want to take a timeout. But then again, you don't want to give either one of these teams much more time than they need. And Josh Giles got tied up with Eric Taylor on the sideline. Mandela, Roberts, and Murphy, there, the middle linebackers. Third down and four. And now under a minute to go. It's kind of like we want the clock to move. We may want to, if Lee gets a first down here, they may want to stop the clock. Bush in the slot. Josh back to throw. Steps up under pressure. Man open. Pass over. Shoots his man and picked off. Intercepted by Lufkin at the 43, or is it incomplete? Did it hit the ground? It did. And he's just not putting a lot of zip on it right now. And Eric Taylor was there. He tried to get it over the linebacker. And that thing should have been picked off. The key is, was the injury a little bit earlier in the game to his throwing hand or to his other hand? It appears to be to his throwing thumb, and it's affecting his ability to throw the ball with any kind of velocity. He's just lofting it up, and I think we'll see Preston Hill quite a bit in the second half. Probably. Josh Hill back to punt here. He's got to forget about those two incomplete passes, and they did kind of float, and now you got to be careful with Hewitt back there. 20-19 to 19, Lufkin with 31 seconds remaining first half. Giles is the deep snapper. 
Peyton Price is the up man. He turns around to Josh, makes sure he's ready. Giles snap. They bring some pressure, gets it off, and turns it over another great punt. Hewitt from the 23. 25. Comes this way now. 30 and runs right into a player. Two flags are down at the 30 and the 40. Nice job by Lee to get down in front of Hewitt. And this is going to probably go a couple of different directions. We'll see. We'll let them kind of sort out the laundry. 47-yard punt by Josh Hill, 11-yard return by Hewitt. Now we got to check the officials. Again, Terry Edwards is the uh, referee from the East Texas chapter, and this is going against Lufkin. With 14, that play took 17 seconds on the clock. Holding against Lufkin, that was declined. Blocked the back against Lufkin because that one comes deeper at the 30, so it'll be back to the 19-yard line. What a first half. The tell of two quarters, really, David. 13-0 in the first for Lee, and Lufkin's responded with a 20-6 edge here in the second stanza. Bo Bambry made the stop. No, he's back in the game of middle linebacker. And now Lufkin up by one, and everybody's kind of thrown their haymakers, and everybody has landed, and now we'll just find out who can make the best adjustments at halftime. And Smallwood takes the snap, and... Well, he's got to hate that. It hurts his stats. But he's happy because Jacoby, 53-yard pass was a big deal. 20 to 19, Lufkin, and they trailed by 13 at one point. Back deep is Chris Apudica and Jason Williams. Craig Smoke, anything updates on uh, possible injuries? Uh, no, I know. Josh Hill's hand that he hurt was his throwing hand, so that might explain a little bit of why his passes have been kind of floating up in the air. Like I said earlier, he got it taped up. It was just bleeding a little bit after he took that shot. T.Y. took a shot earlier, and I think it's just a bruised abdomen. Uh, he's he should be fine. He's been playing, or he played a lot in the end of the uh, second quarter. And uh, Warren DeHaven I, and Cole Skates, I haven't gotten an update on yet. All right, we need to get those as soon as we can. DeHaven doesn't look like he'll be back at all. Fernandez line drive kick. Apudica lets it hit at his feet at the five. This guy can go 10, 15, 20, five. Nice tough return out to the 25 yard line. And here comes Lee. Offensively, they've used eight offensive linemen. The starters are Black Banks, Larman, Culp, and Holland. But also we've seen a lot of Christian, Andrew Bailey, and Ryan Davenport. Josh Hill. Comes out to start the game at quarterback here in the second half. Jason Williams is the deep back. Peyton Price and Tyrone, the H-backs, the tight end, Giles, and the split receiver, far side, Walter Simpson. Wing back reverse, Peyton Price for about four or five yards outside the 30. Lufkin's defense up front, McKinner Dixon. Man, they ran at him a couple of times, Randy, when they had the momentum. Rashad Hunt makes the stop there. He and Roger Hurts are the tackles. Robert Taylor, the other defensive end. It's Eric Taylor, Robert Murphy, Mandela Roberts, and Tony Cole, the linebackers, Ashford Ayers, and Leonard Hugh at the corners, and Alton Dixon, the safety. But McKenna Dixon had a series there where he just blew everything up. He now switches to the other side. Lee runs that upside option. Tyrone can't get much. In that time, they switch McKenna Dixon to the other side. Huge players on defense may not be a part of this game anymore. Josh Hill back to throw. Man falls down, he goes over the middle, pass tipped in the air, and it should have been intercepted. He was looking for somebody, but the tight end, I think Murphy fell down, and that blows up the, uh, the pass pattern, and then he goes sideline deep, incomplete, and Murphy now is talking to one of the coaches far side. Alton Dixon should have had an interception, and Lee's defense is going to have to step up regardless who's out there because their offense just went three and out. We haven't seen that this year. No, we haven't, David, and that's the pass was uh, thrown into double coverage as well, which wasn't a really good idea, but he zoned in on one receiver. Here comes the snap. Josh has had two really good kicks. John Giles is the deep snapper. Nice snap, good time, nice, high, effective punt. Hewitt from the 30. Gets the first man to miss heap, 35, uh-oh, 40. Knocked down John Giles, the deep snapper, makes the stop, and Lee's coverage teams have not been very good tonight. They have been gashed on kick and punt returns, and the worst thing you can do down by a point, Randy, is you get the start the second half, we go three and out, and then you give Lufkin the ball at midfield. Yeah, David, a 42-yard punt for Josh Hill and a 20-yard return for Hewitt uh, setting Lufkin up. First down at their own 48-yard line. Raphael Thomas will split near side. 
Smallwood with a lot of confidence. A little swing pass outside Shankle. About two or three, four yards. Here's a flag, and this is going to come back. 13 is going to get hit with a holding or clip. Roy Gardner, five yards behind the line of scrimmage. Now, I thought any time you threw the ball behind the line of scrimmage that anything could pretty much go, but it looks like here holding against Lufkin, and Lance Heap made the stop. Ten yards, and this will come from the play. It will come from the line of scrimmage, so this will knock Lufkin back to the 38-yard line. Well, he was caught red-handed uh, by the side judge on the far side of the field. Uh, big break for Lee, actually, uh, getting Lufkin started off with first and long. So holding against the Panthers, and that is a play that has really caused Lee problems, and you'd think it would not because of their outside speed. But now you've got so many younger players who have not had much game time. Smallwood rolls near side, has time, steps up, going deep. Nice coverage, incomplete. He overshot everybody. Ajiki was back there, and he was as much the intended receiver. Two 16s, by the way, Rafael Thomas. And Smallwood is not afraid to launch that thing. They've had Reggie McNeil, Terrence Parks, and now Jacoby Smallwood, who's got a little bit of that edge to him that they love. He's a leader, he's a senior, who switched times last year with Ayers. He caught a little late pressure from the backside from Ricky Sherfield as well as Matt Uzell, who's just come into the ballgame. So Matt Uzell has come in to replace probably Cole Skates, and Banbury is not in either. They've gone to Van Zandt, almost a two-linebacker formation, and the nickel defense, Smallwood second and 20. Fakes the draw, steps up, now throws it. Javorski, they got all sorts of Red Raiders, will knock him down for no gain. Dominique Van Zant, they read that one perfectly. Also in on the stop was Nick Mitchell, and also, again, you mentioned him, Matt Uzell. And Dominique is basically, they're trying to right now, they normally are 3 3 5, and they're going almost to a 3 2 6 right now. And added defensive back, throw a little bit more speed on the field to cover. Uh, the wide receivers going down the field. A good bit of containment as the play-action pass faking one way uh, did not work that well for Smallwood. So Javorski, who caught the touchdown pass, that was a pure screen. Third and 20. Lee dancing around, snap to Smallwood. Steps up, here comes pressure over the middle. Man wide open, first down, breaks a tackle, 40. On a third and 20, they will get 30. Eric Ajiki makes the stop. Nick Mitchell and Quet Nicholson were there, and they collided with each other, and that is a back-breaking play right there. Smallwood had plenty of time to throw the ball, and he delivers to his receiver, breaking down the middle of the field, uncovered, makes the catch, and then breaks a couple of tackles, as you mentioned, picking, picking up a big first down. 32 yards. Who caught that? Lee barely gets off in time. I think that was Wallace. Here comes the run. Oh, Javorski, huge lane. 20. And this is now getting to be Rip City up the middle against Lee's defense. As they now have Lee worried about the flare patterns on the outside, a cheeky on the stop. They have him worried about those plays. Smallwood's not afraid to throw it anywhere at any time. And now Javorski just picks up 15 against this Lee defense. It's just great coaching and great scheming, confusing the defense for the Lufkin offensive coordinator. Timeout on the far side. The chains are mixed up. First down and 10 at the Lee 14 yard line. Smallwood in the shotgun. This is Javorski Lane. He runs the quarterback draw, bounces outside, pitches it back to Schenkel, makes the first guy miss. Another missed tackle. <laughs> Haven't seen Lee have so many missed tackles in a long, long time. Saron Black actually was down there along with the Jeeke and Lance Hip Heap, but a missed tackle and Schenkel picks up 10 yards and another player down. Lance Heap, their backup safety, the senior is down, first down and goal from the lead five. The center is Charles Proctor, the senior. Bo Banbury, the middle linebacker. Javorski Lane up the middle, this time hit at the line of scrimmage, and he will get maybe a yard, if not even that. And nice job by Dominique Van Zant, the senior linebacker. And also to carry in Cuba with heap out comes in. Cordero Mumphrey at the bottom of the top. And that's the first time that Javorski has had contact before he's gotten to the line of scrimmage. Also in the game, Gabriel Lacey. Javorski now with 14 carries, 65 yards, but remember he has scored three times. Second down and goal. Javorski shifts to the far side. This could be an option. Snap.
Javorski up the middle at the three, and somebody stood him up, and the ball is loose, and Lee may have recovered. Somebody stood up Javorski Lane at the three, and I think it was Bo Bambry, but Lufkin recovers. He took on Javorski at the two-yard line and just stuffed him. You could hear the crowd go, ooh, they've never seen that. But as usual, it seems like Lufkin recovers another fumble down at the two. How big would that have been? Just a fortuitous break for the Panthers, and they keep possession. It's now third and goal. Man, Bo Bambry, my former workout partner, I taught him that. Third and goal now, and Lufkin goes in the shotgun. Shankle far side. Smallwood keeps it. He will score on touch with the high kick at the end with a little mustard on it, but he deserves to get excited. There's a flag down. Flag in the backfield. At about the 12, dead ball, personal foul, unsportsmanlike conduct after the play against Lufkin. So that hasn't hurt him at all. They get the touchdown here. But after the play, there must have been a late hit, or a, it might have been the high step, Randy. Oh, yeah, it's taunting, unsportsmanlike conduct, and they'll probably penalize him uh, on the kick. But see, right here's here. my only problem. They throw the flag on Jacoby Smallwood. The only thing I have to say is he started that before he had crossed the end zone, so how can that be a dead ball call, and why wouldn't that be during the play? That would be a way to stop that. Jacoby was excited. I know oh, yeah. he's a little bit of a hot dog. They're going to go for two or no. They bring in the kicking, and Fernandez will kick the extra point. This would still keep Lee within eight and a score and a two-point conversion. We'll get back to that call in just a moment. Fernandez has got a great leg. It's now 26-19. Snap, kick, up, good. 27-19. Is it the officials going to make the call that it was taunting when Jacoby went into a high step or a high kick? Deion Sanders styled about the three. He started that at the three-yard line. They gave him the touchdown, but why would you not mark it off from the point of where the officials said he was taunting? They don't do that. That's not the rule, but you wonder why they wouldn't. Mike Owens, by the way, the team, they said, they said take the 15 yards on the kickoff so it gives us some better field position with Apudica and Jason Williams back deep. Eight plays, 52 yards, and 321 for the Panthers as they extend the lead now to eight. Two-yard touchdown run from Jacoby Smallwood, who's really played extremely well after an early shaky start. He's now the 53-yard touchdown uh, pass to Gardner was also huge as much as that fumbled punt might have been as well by Tony Bush. Fernandez from the 25. He's got a cannon. High, deep kick. Apudica. Nope, it's Williams. 15-20. 25-30. And he doesn't get much more than if he had kicked it from the 40-yard line. And Lufkin has won the battle in the kicking game so far tonight, although Josh Hill has had a great night punting the football. Mains in the game, T.Y. is there. Ryan Davenport is one of the offensive linemen and they continue that rotation. Larman is the center. Jason Williams and T.Y. are in the H-back positions. Play action, Josh. He's got a man open, that's Williams. 40, 30, 20, he's going to go, 10, 5, touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. One play, 70 yards. They took the T.Y. throw from the other side, and they went the other way with Jason Williams, and he was wide open and broke a tackle at the 25. They're a two-point conversion away from a tie. And play action pass sold it greatly. They faked to the far side of the field with play action pass. And the, the running back comes out, and he's set in the slot, and he comes right out of the backfield. As you mentioned, they just run to the other side of the field, and he has no one near him until about the 30-yard line after he makes the catch. He shakes that tackle and dances straight down the sideline for six for the Red Raiders. Boy, Lee had a two-point conversion last week, but they need one here. They've had some problems. They missed one earlier. Full house backfield. Josh, play action in the end zone. Walter caught it. Yes, we're tied at 27. One play, 70 yards. The Lee fans explode. Oh, my goodness. This place has gotten quiet on the home side. 70-yard touchdown pass. Josh Hill to Jason. We're back in one minute. Back in an electrifying game at Abe Martin Stadium. Lee had had some things going wrong. Injuries. Had lost a 13-point lead. Had lost a 5-point lead. We're down by 8. 
and all of a sudden, Josh Hill, 70 yards to Jason Williams, and then a beautiful throw to Walter Simpson. He threw the ball before Walter had even come out of his break. That's how precise that pass was. We'll get to the drive, Randy. It doesn't take long as it didn't there. Josh Hill set the kick off for Robert E. Lee, and here it comes from his 40. Little pooch kick again. This one's a little deeper. Thomas from the 20 will field and look for the wall. Trying to bounce outside. 20, here he goes. 25-30 and knocked down there. Better coverage that time by Robert E. Lee. Number 45, Justin Simmons and Nick Mitchell were there. Justin Hansen was there. So was Colby Ray. One play, 70 yards in 12 seconds. Jason Williams takes the pass as he breaks wide open and skirts down the sideline, shaking one tackle into the end zone. And the two-point conversion, we're all tied up, and it's a brand-new ball game. And the track meet continues. Ooh. Justin Hansen now in for Lee as one of the safety men, remember, because they've got numerous starters out. And the one thing you have to be careful of here is a blown coverage because you have so many guys out of position. First and 10, Lufkin from their 33. Smallwood rolls right. Has three receivers, now wants to throw back against the grain. Going deep, he's got a man, caught it. Touchdown, Lufkin. Flag is down. There is a flag down at the 32-yard line. There is a flag down. Illegal man down, field against Lufkin. Oh, my goodness. And they're setting off the fireworks. <laughs> Nobody knows the play's coming back. Wow, listen to the boos. Jacoby throws a perfect strike. I think Quet Nicholson had great coverage. But he goes 67 yards. So Lee had a one-play 70-yard strike. Wow. Lufkin answers with a one-play 67-yard strike. But number 60, Brian Brown, was called for illegal man downfield. And John Outlaws 20 yards on the sideline. And this one is coming back. Wow. What a huge break for Robert E. Lee, David. They, their defense catches new life. That is just some great athleticism from Smallwood with his arm. He threw that ball 45, 50 yards oh. downfield in the air. He caught in it stride yeah. to his wide receiver who shakes off the tackler and scores. But the penalty brings it back. And uh, Outlaw's going nuts. 6.26 to go. Play clock is down to 10. 67 yards. And it's coming back here. First and 15. Oh, is there anything better than Lee and Lufkin at 8 Martin Stadium? Smallwood, back to throw. Javorski, 25-30. 35, knocked down at the 40. And then Sam Banks got ear -holed by Shankle at the end, but Dominique Van Zandt saves a bigger gain. He still picks up 14 yards. No, I'll give him 12. Out to the 40, and nobody was on. How does Javorski Lane get completely uncovered? Well, it's just a little swing pass, and they do it so well. Uh, the coverage didn't pick him up, though, after he caught the ball. And Van Zant did a great job of just hitting him below his knees where you have to tackle him, and the big guy does go down when you hit him right there. Timeout Lee. That's what I was talking about. They are somewhat confused, and maybe a lot, because they've got a lot of players out of position, and you got to give it to Jay Law and Randy Huffstickler and the defensive coaches, Jerry Reed. And here comes another flag down. I yep. think Lufkin just got a 15-yard bench penalty. Yep. As Lee went over to talk to their coaches, the side judge on this side has just thrown another flag, and John Outlaw is at midfield talking to the referee, Terry Edwards, and this is going to cost him 15 yards. And he's still very angry, as you can imagine. That's just going to incite his own crowd. And now Lee has to take advantage of it because oh, it's yeah. now second down and 18 instead of second down and three. They have to make a stop. Remember the last drive, the first drive of the half for Lufkin. They had a third and 20, and they get a 30-yard pass play, and then they drive on in for the score before Lee responds. Right now it's time for Lee to make a stop and get the ball back. All right, now remember this. Remember this. Remember now John gets the 15-yarder. He's not worried about right now. He's trying to set up something later on that goes in his favor. Right. It's kind of like a basketball coach. When the team starts to get blown away, you get ejected. He is now trying to get a call in his favor at a certain time later on when there's a big play that goes against him. That's that coaching psychology at work. And, of course, his 26 years as a head coach experience, I'm sure he's won a few of those battles too, David. So now Lee defensively has to regroup. Shotgun, second down and about 20. Draw play, Javorski 
Seven, eight, ten yards, keeps the pile moving. Earl Campbell-esque. And you know what? They just got every bit of the 15 yards back. Earl lose Campbell day. against Plano in the war in the playoffs back in 73. He Listen, just powers it up the middle, falls behind his offensive line, and Brown and Proctor and Redmond pushing him back. Lance Heap on the tackle to help back push in the him game. Off. He was hurt, remember? He's Bo Bambry was also there. Third down and five. There can't be a better atmosphere and a better game than this one in Texas anywhere. Third and five from the 39. Javorski drop late, drop for a loss of two. Saran Black and Cordero Mumphrey, and Saran gets up and kind of goes, you want a little bit of me right now? And now you watch for a fake punt in this case, and they have forced Lufkin to possibly punt here. Yeah, there is some talking going on as uh, oh. the big man, big number 79, hits the initial lick, and then Mumphrey comes behind him and lays him down too uh, for no gain. Tony Bush, who of course was involved in that punt, that may have turned the tide in this game is back to receive the punt at about his 25. Two up men for Lufkin. 4.33 to go, third quarter. We are tied at 27 and another Lee Lufkin classic. Snap to Javorski, punt, nice high punt. Tony will let this one hit at the 20 and it bounces inside the 15. Hits a Lufkin player at the 22 yard line down inside the 20. And there's an eight or two. Now you got a guy who's lost a little confidence. 44 yard punt by the, the human train, and Lee will take over at the 18-yard line. They open the door at the 18. Your side. 20, 23. Flag is down. Well, that surprises everybody, doesn't it? On Lee's very first, there's a holding call against Lee. Leonard Hewitt makes the stop. But does that surprise anybody that there's a holding call, the very first offensive play that Lee runs? And it might be an illegal hit with a forearm it's a on Saran Black. It's a holding call. Well, now John Outlaw has gotten 10 of his 15 yards back, <laughs> and he's done exactly, and the officials fell for it. Yeah, and, uh, you know, you see that a lot. It's just uh, adversity towards Lee in this uh, now why is it? Now, wait a minute. Why is the holding call from the point behind the line of scrimmage? It's a, about a 15-yard penalty. 12-yard penalty to be No, you, all right, second down and well, first and 22 lead. Dangerous area of the field. Josh, play action, steps up. Now in trouble, rolls to his right, throws it away. There's nobody there. That's a safety. That's got to be a safety. You know what? He was outside the pocket. He threw it past the line of scrimmage, and that's all. Here's a flag down. The side judge has just thrown a flag, and... Now we'll see what the call is. Second down and 22. Josh rolled from the pocket, throws the ball past the line of scrimmage. There was no receiver near him. And the officials pointing at the original line of scrimmage. And you know what? I hate to say this, but that guy was baited into that call. Now Lee's second down. 349 to go, third quarter, tied at 27. Josh. Back in his end zone, back to throw, steps up. Going deep, it should be intercepted, and it is. 30, 25, he's got room to go. 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Lufkin. <laughs> 33 yard interception return by Hewitt. And that was as much a punt. There was nobody in a white jersey, and that thing was thrown in the middle of the field where he was sitting there. He could have called a fair catch. And Lufkin's defense, boy, the one thing you don't want to do is give up points right there deep in your own territory, and they're going to kick the extra point. And John Outlaw has kind of done what he wanted to do. He's incited this crowd and his football team. Well, really an ill-advised pass from his end zone. He'll, he'll have no, no point. He throws the ball. 20 yards short of his intended receiver, and there's nothing but four or five purple shirts there, and uh, Hewitt makes the pick and returns it for six. Extra point, good, our score. 335 remaining. And remember, Josh picked up seven yards on first down, but that was called back. Well, both Mike Owens and John Outlaw thought that this would be a high-scoring game, and that's what we have, and there's a lot of time left. 34-27.
as a Josh Hill pass was picked off by Leonard Hewitt, and he raced in almost untouched. Peyton Price almost got him. It's 34-27. Fernandez with a nice high, deep kick. Jason Williams at the 5. 10, 15, 20, 25. Most of the 28, and then somebody comes on late. And now Lee has to regroup. This game, for either team, if you're Lee, you hope you don't have too many of these injuries that, that lag on another three or four weeks, if not longer. But you are not going to be in a better and more intense game anywhere, whether you're Lufkin or Lee, than is right now. Preston Hill is back in the game for Lee.